Okay, let's eliminate this myth that some people are saying that we cannot have more than one connector per type. So in this case, I have a family with three connectors. All of them are sanitary. Two of them are in and one is out. And I have another family, which is a just an in-place family, also a plumbing fixture one, that has a fixture unit. So in this case, it's five. So we can see in the pipe that we are coming with five fixture units. Here, I have another one with, we see here, with six, all right? So I have five in here. And in here I have six. So all of them go here with 11. So in here the same. I have eight, eight waste fixture units. If I see this pipe, I also have eight. So now all of them go through here and they come out with 19 fixture units. So let's see how we do this. And, and this is actually really simple. So let's create first a new family. So we're going to create a new family. This family is going to be really simple. So make sure that we are choosing the family templates, English, and let's choose anyone, anyone that you want. In this case, you could choose a plumbing fixture if you want to have every parameter, like the really simple one already created. But in my case, I will choose a metric generic model. All right. So I can show you from scratch. All right. So in here, I will create an expression. Um, before I do that, Let's create some reference planes. One in here, making sure that they are straight. And also in here. All right. Make sure that they are straight. And then some dimensions. So you probably know how to do this since you're watching kind of advanced tutorial so with that I will make sure that this is equal and this is equal as well and I don't really care about the parameter here so those parameters I will make it parametric at this point but I will create an extrusion and I will make sure that this is log so we'll start creating maybe with a rectangle tool so just create everything like there in case i want to make it parametric in this case i don't so but anyway now i have my box and i will put some connectors in each side so first we are going to sh i am going to show you how to do it with two connectors so we are going to go to pipe connector make sure that you select the face of the the place that you want the connector to be all right so i have it there if i want it in a corner like around here I will have to create another extrusion and you know how it goes. If you want to know how to create connectors like the easy way, you can find another tutorial in my video. I probably will leave you a link in the description or in the cards up and right in the screen. All right. So I have two connectors. I haven't configure any of them so I have to go 
to the connector. And the first thing that we do is to change the system classification. So you change it. In this case, I will use sanitary, but you can use any one of the system classifications that you want. And then I will make sure that is fixture units. This, in this case, will go in. And my fixture units have to be linked to another parameter. In this case, I will call it Y. This will be an instance parameter. And I will just do OK and OK again. Now, this is the flow that is coming in. And now I will change it to calculate it. All right. I will show you why in a bit. So now I go to the other one. I also change it to sanitary. I also change it to fixture units. In this case, it will be out. And I will make sure that I create another parameter. In this case, it will be O instance. OK. So if I go to my my family types, I will see that I don't have any fixture units, but I will make sure that the O is Y. All right, so everything that is coming in gotta go out. All right, so that's it. That is what I do. Now I will create a new project. I'm in one, it doesn't matter really. But I will bring my family that I just created to my new project, which in this case is project two. And I will place it right here. I won't care about the slopes, so I will just leave it like that, inherit everything, and I will make it big because it will create this transition all right so that's good and that's good all right so i see here that i don't have any fixture units and i don't have any fixture units here this is in from here and this is out from here all right so let's create another family so in this case, I will just create a model in place family. I could just create another one in the same way that I did the other one. But since I don't want to, I will just create an in place family with a plumbing fixture category. I will just leave it there and I will create an extrusion once again. I will just do like that and I will make sure that I create also a pipe connector so I will go through the view and I will place the, the same connector so in this case it will be sanitary I mean fixtures and now I will see, usually you will have these three last parameters that you can connect to. So the waste fixture unit will be the last one. And that's it. This will be out. This is coming out of this family. And I will finish the model. All right. Now I will create a cut so I make sure that I create a cut here so I can see what I what is going on. And I will change this to fine to see my huge plumbing pipes. And I will create this one. All right. And I will make sure that these are at the same level. And in here, I will also change it to fine and I will also line. 
right so this is just to be able to connect these two okay so this family this is the new family that I just created i will give it a waste fixture unit of seven now this is coming out with seven so you can see the fixture units here this one is going in seven and going out seven so you can see there that is already working and it goes out with seven let's make sure that it's working so i will create another one of these around here i will connect it and i will go to here so let's see still seven so it's good it's working let's do another one of these so i will copy this and rotate 90 degrees all right and i will change this family so i will go to edit family to add another connector so i will add another connector pipe connector right there and this will be another in connector so this will be a sanitary system classification fixture units always first fixture units because it will allow you to link the fixture unit to a parameter so in this case it will be i instance and OK. Once it's linked, I can change it to calculate it. All right. But I have to change something else still here. The O will not just be Y, but also it will add I. All right. So it will add the two in parameters and it will go out. Okay. Cool. So let's go to project two and overwrite the existing version. So now I have this in. I will do it around here. I will bring this further here so I can make sure that I have enough space for my transitions. And I will align here. All right so this family i will change it to something different like nine so in here i have one that is seven and in here i have another one which is nine so the pipe also is bringing the nines and let's see what comes out so it's 9 plus 7 is 16 so it's working wonderfully let's try another one let's do this like that and make sure to align so I can connect them but in this case I will change it to something like I don't know like 21 for example so I got the 21 coming out here and the 16 here and in here are the 37 All right so we see that it's working we see that we can have more than just one connector going through all our system so it works wonderfully but you need to make sure that you set everything correctly